Okay, let's do this. Hello and welcome to the Outdoor Project and Happy New Year's everybody! I hope you guys are having a wonderful beginning to the year 2021. This week's video, I'm thinking of doing something a bit new. In other words, I'm thinking of changing the way I make my mini project videos. From now on, mini project videos won't contain much educational facts like I have in most of my other videos, but will purely be about building. But who knows, I might just make another how to make a command block escalator video talking about the history of escalators, so yeah, I'm, um, I'm moving around this series pretty freely. But for the most part, it is just going to be me building something whilst playing music in the background and from time to time mumbling a few tips I use for my building process. Again, this is something new, so if you have any recommendations or criticism to this new series, please do leave that in the comment sections below. What did I just say, comic? So without further ado, let's do this. So in the beginning I was planning on calling this video the Volgari Expansion, as I was planning to not only expand the district of Volgari but upgrade a few buildings I made previously when I first created this map. However, I underestimated just how time consuming that was going to be, so I decided to focus on rebuilding specifically this top portion of Volgari. Although structures placed on top of hills usually signify that the building is more important, I wanted this tall section to be a more local housing area in Volgari. Much of Volgari's buildings draw inspiration from German architecture as well as buildings seen in fantasy games and movies. It is also probably better to add on that Volgari used to be a city on its own until I decided to merge it with the capital Alhain. So now the term Volgari refers to a district within Alhain. Volgari is also the first city I ever made on this map, as it is where I spawned five, seven years ago. I lost count. But what this means is that this... But what this mean... But what this means is that... <laughs> what? What? But what the... What? But what this means is that like a real city, one can really tell the progression of the architectural style utilized throughout the years. And while I definitely do like the sound of that, looking at some of the buildings now, I'm not too sure if I want to keep them all. Most structures stand as bland and repetitive, and I've longed to change the style of architecture for quite a while now. This includes the upper level of Volgari as well. I also noticed that back then it seemed like I was fond of making everything very cramped. Such examples can be seen on the lowest level of Volgari, where everything is squeezed together, as well as being overly detailed. So in conclusion for the new upper section of Volgari, I wanted the space to feel local, less cramped, and less bland. I thought having vertically stacked buildings will be an interesting addition to the district. Additionally, my main focus was not to pack the walls with windows like I did for my previous builds and instead balance it out with more negative space, or these slanted spruce beams. While I did say that I didn't want things to be too cramped, I do think there is a fine line between something that is too cramped and something that is comfortably cramped. In general, I like closed spaces, such as narrow walkways or a small area surrounded by buildings. For some reason, when I think of a local neighborhood, especially one in a big European style setting, I think of houses being closely placed beside each other and being able to hear your neighbor's conversations. Additionally, I think of a firmly bonded community as well. Thus, this is one of the narratives I wanted to tell through this build as well. I'm 
I feel like roofs are very roofs roofs. I feel like roofs. I feel like roofs are. Hmm? I feel like. I feel like roofs are. I'm just going with roofs, guys. I feel like roofs are a very difficult thing to build and design in Minecraft. I don't like building things that are too bland, which is why I'm always stumped when I build roofs, as they are usually fully covered by the same material. While roofs in real life look cool, when you put them into Minecraft it just looks... Meh. To avoid having a bunch of boring monochromatic oak roofs, for my earlier builds I decorated these, I don't know, polka dots? All over the roofs, which I'll just leave it up to you guys to decide whether it looks good or not, but I think it definitely did improve how the city looked like from a top. As for the houses in the upper district, I went with coloring the ridges of the roofs with a darker hue, which I think looks pretty nice. And that pretty much concludes most of what I have to say for my mini project. While I suck at explaining things, I do hope that it was somewhat helpful for those who like building or just simply like architecture or environments like I do. So I'm gonna keep my mouth shut for the rest of the video and let the music take the wheel. Enjoy. So that is pretty much it for today guys, for today's cinematic, instead of making things all fancy and cool, I'm thinking of highlighting some smaller details that I didn't really get to explain earlier, that will hopefully be of inspiration to the builders watching this video. Let's go.
So that is it for today guys, I know it wasn't the same as my other videos, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed. Next video will be continuing on with the World Heritage Site series, this time traveling to Afghanistan to build my version of the Minaret of Jam. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye